fortunou teď ulovíš nový výhry každý den. Otevři svůj Lucky Box a užij si třeba lepší kurzy, free spiny nebo bonus až 5000 korun. V naší apce a na webu tě štěstí nemine. Lucky Boxy jsou tu pro všechny. Nepropásni ten dnešní. Fortuna ti přeje. Hello everyone. Uh, today we're here with Alex Machine. It's uh, really nice to have you here. Uh, so how are you enjoying the event? Oh, I love Cologne. Yeah, Cologne every year is a highlight of mine. Love it, love the atmosphere. Usually love the games. You know, we always get some sort of crazy underdog stories. Sora playing right now in their semi-final. So yeah, it's happening again. Yeah, it's fascinating. You know, it's the Cologne magic, isn't it? Uh, I wanted to, you know, remind ourselves that it's 25 years of uh, Counter-Strike this year, but Damn. you have a very important uh, anniversary coming up next year because I think that it's going to be five years since you first like started exclusively, almost exclusively, casting the sponge and right. you've become like an iconic geo. I wanted to ask, uh, how are you going to celebrate? Good question. I have not been keeping track. So yeah, probably five years. Yeah, yeah, five Bloody years. hell, I'm going to tell Chad all about that. Okay, well, yeah, we'll have to work something out. Go for a beer in Malta, perhaps. Yeah, how did that pairing come about? Like That came about, well, we were living together in Malta at the time, um, myself, Chad and Henry, and uh, Henry was taking a step away from Counter-Strike for a while, and uh, me and Chad got talking, and I was kind of talking about my future, and like, what do we do? How do you start a duo, you know? Chad, do, Chad was also doing an analyst work, and we'd work together in that way from Desk Coast and Analyst. And I was really in, leaning into moving into play-by-play -play was something I wanted to make sure I, I got to do um, again in my career, like return to. And I felt like the time, I just kind of started with Henry and, uh, and Chad, you know, I asked him if he'd be open to it, if he'd be interested, and he was like, I'll give it a go. Um, and it's just something we've kind of, you know, grown into and developed over the, over the years. And yeah, I couldn't ask for a better partner. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you have, like, as you said, the play-by-play -play commentary, you know, something really explosive, while uh, Chad is usually, like, in the background providing some specific information. Mm. And I wanted to ask, like, it's really interesting to me, because you have to always be sharp, always be ready, you know, to say something, you know, exciting, so, you know, to right. keep, the, uh, keep the audience watching. I wanted to ask, is that something like uh, if you do, like, a voice training, or if you have to practice somewhat, or are you just a natural? I know I would, I'm actually thinking about getting like a vocal training for like, I'd love to be able to throw some kind of like death metal screams and squeals, especially in like arena commentary, you know, because a lot of the time you get kind of consumed by the crowd. So all you really hear is the caster kind of go, oh my God, play a name. And I'm making a sound. Imagine if I could do some cool like guttural pig squeals, you know? Oh yeah, that'd yeah. be cool. Yeah, well, so I'm, cool. My natural state for a long time, I would, I would squeak, I'd go very high when I was excited, because my natural response when I'm excited is kind of just, oh my god, yeah. and it's, yeah, it's not, not, true, it's not yeah. very good for the years. There's a couple of cringy clips of me just kind of squealing down the microphone <laughs> that I've had to learn to, to tame and to find better ways to exp express myself. But uh, I am thinking about getting training, but I haven't had any. Um, but it was always something I did. I mean, the play-by-play -play commentary, I'm, I've got a very busy brain, I'm, I talk a lot, Uh, when I'm having fun, and uh, so there was kind of a natural fit in that respect, and it's very nice because typically I get I struggle with focus. My my focus is quite wandering, and uh, I'm very uh, you know maybe neurodivergent perhaps uh, a little bit. Uh, but one thing that helps me is this job means I have to be focused for you know 45 minutes, and there's there's no excuses if you're not focused and you're not doing your job. So it just forces me to be to stay in that mode, which is really good. It helps me. Uh, so it's very kind of relaxing, actually, to do my work. Well, that's perfect. Uh, do you like unwind? How do you unwind? Because yeah. I, I saw Pimp, you know, he's putting it on Instagram all the time, like he's biking oh, or something. Oh, he is like a that. machine. I'm, I'm going to ask him about that. Yeah, but like, I wanted to ask, like, how do you unwind? You know, what do you do when you're on, on vacation? Do you like read HLTV or not oh, at all? I, I try, I try to keep myself <laughs> away. I like to disconnect from the social media realms because it's. Uh, As like all humans, you know, it's a very dangerous place, especially considering we all want to be liked, we all seek validation in one form or another, and that's just such a direct, uh, like, fucking, mad, excuse my language, no you know, box of light that can say, you're a good person and you're a bad person, but they don't mean it, it's not real, they don't know you. Um, so that's something I try and avoid more now as I grow up. Uh, I definitely would 
previously found myself looking for that or and going through every thread and scroll past 50 comments that say, I like machine, he's good at what he does, and then find the one comment that disagrees and I'll be like, he's right, and I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not good, for the, not good for the mental health. Uh, so now I'm just, uh, yeah, I kind of keep steer, steer clear of that when I'm not working. When I am working, I try and maintain a healthy relationship with it, like give myself my morning coffee and a scroll of Reddit and then leave it, leave it there. Yeah, Perfect. exactly. I wanted to ask, like now we're in Cologne, like legendary place. I wanted to ask, is there one you know specific game or an event where like everything went together, everything went your way, mm. uh, the plays were exciting, uh, the synergy with the co-caster was just right. Mm. Is there one event that you remember that was like the peak of, of your career so far? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I really uh, will forever remember the Cologne final, Phase Navi, like that one was just special, you know. Like, Incredible, yeah. It was like poetry and it was so extra special because uh, it was the first event my mother had visited, you know, she wanted to see my work. So she's sitting there, she watches a seven hour best of five final. She's like, is it always like this? I'm like, not really, no, you just, just chose a good one. It just felt very special. And I was very proud of some of the, the work I did in that one with Chad. Yeah, that was so exciting. We were here and it was yeah. lovely, lovely. Good. Uh, one last question. There are some exciting, interesting times coming for the Counter Strike scene. You know, yeah. we, we're going to have like the open market for tournaments 2025. Uh, everything is going to be blown wide open. I'm thinking, you know, what are you really looking forward to with CS? Um, I think the, the changes are exciting because it kind of gets, takes Counter Strike back to its kind of as open as possible circuit. There's going to be a lot of games. Teams are going to have to choose sometimes which tournaments to prioritize. You know, we, there may be some matchups that we don't see for a couple of events, which um, which I think could lead to some exciting kind of you know uh, clashes. We're like, oh my god, we haven't seen this for three months, and these guys have been winning this, and those won that, and we can have some of that. Uh, but in general, I think it's good. It's healthy for the scene. You know, especially if there's more more events, more teams. Uh, who are able to compete and to, to play professionally, I think it's, all, it's only good. It's yeah. only good things. Ultimately, last question. Yeah, uh, no. Are we going to get uh, a British major winner? <laughs> oh, um, we certainly could. Mezzi exists. Yeah, That's he, what, exists. <laughs> he exists. He exists. I'm, uh, I could see a world, very, very much see a world where that happens, especially considering the team around him. Um, seeing him get comfortable in some of his roles. Yeah, it's definitely not out of the realms of possibility. But I'm not like holding my breath. Sure, yeah. sure. Well, hopefully it's going to be uh, good air quality in China <laughs> yeah. at the end of the year, and uh, yeah. you know, Zaiwu pops off, and it's all going to be perfect. Oh man, it would be it would be poetry. <laughs> it would be great. Definitely. Yeah. Machine, thank you very much thank for you, having us. It was great talking to you, thank and you. Uh, see you around. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. S Fortunou teď ulovíš nový výhry každý den. Otevři svůj Lucky Box a užij si třeba lepší kurzy, free spiny nebo bonus až 5000 korun. V naší apce a na webu tě štěstí nemine. Lucky Boxy jsou tu pro všechny. Nepropásni ten dnešní. Fortuna ti přeje.